Plato's story doesn't just describe a city, Sam. It describes its end, a violent, sudden end. In a single day and a single night of misfortune, it was swallowed up by the sea and vanished. Does the evidence on the sea floor match that part of the legend? It does. The sonar scans paint a picture of utter devastation. The outermost ring wall appears shattered, as if hit by the unimaginable force of a massive tsunami. The inner walls are completely displaced, broken apart, and scattered. This was not a city that slowly sank or fell into ruin. This was a place that was violently destroyed. A catastrophe. And for years, supporters of the Atlantis theory have pointed to a controversial but compelling scientific idea for a real-world global catastrophe, the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis. The theory, in simple terms, is that around 12,800 years ago, a comet broke apart and fragments of it slammed into the Earth or exploded in the atmosphere. The impacts are thought to have triggered the melting of ice caps, causing catastrophic global floods and plunging the planet into a period of rapid, dramatic climate change known as the Younger Dryas. And here is the crucial connection. Plato, writing 2,000 years ago, gave a date for the destruction of Atlantis. He said it happened 9,000 years before his time. If you do the math, that puts the cataclysm at roughly 9,600 BCE, which aligns almost perfectly with the date science gives for the Younger Dryas event.